Here it is, the drag slash with the purple body. This body looks amazing. I mean, look at the headlights and the detail in the front. Neat little thing. You can add some LEDs here uh, to the headlights. So if you want to drag race at night, you can. Uh, that's pretty neat. Not in the rear though, but if you look at the rear bumper, the detail on there, it is a separate piece and so is the wing. Uh, there's different colors, but these things are just beautiful. If you look at the actual drag slash, uh, the tub is the same, slash LCG, and look here. Uh, does that look like a bandit? Yes, it does. So really, they're doing the work for you. If you look at the rear though, the rear shafts, those are actually more robust. I mean, they are tougher and durable. Something else to note, uh, the transmission case, look at the amount of material. Let's see if you can see right there. There's a lot more material there to reinforce it. Uh, although I've never broken a transmission in that section, but look at the plate, the aluminum plate. The slipper is the same as any other Traxxas vehicle, so it has elements of the 272 transmissions, but it has things like the differential similar to the Proline 32P. Uh, like the aluminum plate. Now, right here, this is where the wheelie bar goes on this particular vehicle. Now the tires are super sticky, these Mickey, Mickey Thompson. I'm putting them on the glass, they're just sticking. Some of the other new tires that I've used do not stick like these. Now the front ones are really nice as well, but if you look at the suspension right over here, those are the basic shocks. They should have just added the GTRs, to be honest, uh, especially for the price of $500 as of the time of this video. Now the bumper is pretty nice. I may add it to mine, I don't know. I don't really think I need it, but it would be easy to install. But the LCG, if you look at this tub, just regular slash LCG. Uh, one thing, notice the pins here on the arms. Uh, you're going to want to flip the right side so that it doesn't back out. So that is one thing that you need to do. But if you look at this, once you flip it, you should be good. And it comes with a Valenium system. I may just get one of these uh, just so I can do some stock drag racing. Stock ESC here. I do like modified racing as well. Steering is the same as the VXL system. Notice the servo saver not on the horn. Now the tires are really nice here, front and rear. I really like them. The rubber feels soft, but the foam is quite firm on this truck. I need to move the body clips off to the side, but notice it looks just like a slash with bandit arms. Uh, the body, if you look at how it mounts, See that there? So that is a difference between them. So the front mounting system is different and the rear shock tire is also different. But other than that, it looks great. I may have to pick one up or convince a friend to get one. Or both. Thank you for watching. Oh, 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 oh,